Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today I realized that this week is Ariana Grande's birthday. Now, I am really not a big Ariana Grande fan at all, but I do enjoy her music. decided I wanted to celebrate and I thought to myself throwing a party might be hard because Ariana Grande isn't Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa can throw a Jojo Siwa themed birthday party no problem. I have my own themed birthday party like I can have a Jojo Siwa themed birthday. Jojo Siwa can have a Jojo Siwa themed birthday. But Ariana Grande is not Jojo Siwa. So I thought to myself, why not throw an Ariana Grande themed birthday party for Ariana Grande? Yay! Now, will Ariana Grande show up? Probably not. Will this be a flop? Probably. Will anybody else even show up? I doubt it. But we are gonna have fun. So before we start, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and let's do this. So first I had to figure out what were we going to eat at this party. So I thought, let's just look up Ariana Grande's favorite foods. So I figured out she ate blueberries, mangoes, strawberries, oatmeal, bell peppers, sweet potatoes, brown rice. Sounds like a good menu to me. So next, I looked up her favorite color so I can prepare all the decorations. which happened to be lavender, which makes so much sense, to be honest with you. Then I started working on the invitation for the party. I used Canva, made a cute little invitation to send to all the people that maybe will show up and sent it out. So obviously you can't have a party without party supplies. So I went to my local Dollar Tree to scope out some cheap party supplies because of course I'm the budget queen. So I walked around Dollar Tree and literally they had nothing lavender. All I could find was purple and purple is not lavender. Ariana Grande's favorite color is lavender. So I ended up just deciding that I was gonna make my own party supplies. So I picked up all her favorite foods at the Dollar Tree and I also went to Target to get some strawberries and some blueberries. So I guess I'll just have to make my own because again, she's not JoJo Siwa. <laughs> So the guy at Office Depot definitely thinks I'm a freak of nature. I got all of these printed for decorations for the party and he like handed me the paper and was like, is this really what you ordered? And I was like, yeah, this is what I ordered. And he was just like, oh, okay. And then I just kind of like walked away awkwardly. Grocery store haul. So I got some strawberries, some blueberries, some brown rice, because the queen loves brown rice some bell peppers, a sweet potato, some food coloring for the cake, some bows, oatmeal, some frosting to frost the cake, and obviously some other decorations. I can only afford one ring, but I'll put a seven on it. And then the cake mix. And then I also have some happy birthday balloons and some gold stuff. So next I started creating all my decorations. So I started cutting out all of my little Ariana Grande picks. I actually got these all off the internet and I put them in a little dock and then I just sent them off to Office Depot to be printed. 
So it made it quick, it made it easy, and it made it to the point. Because since we don't have custom decorations with her face on it, I had to make my own decorations with her face on it. Duh. So I started off by making this little banner with some purple ribbon because again, no one sells anything lavender. Something is wrong with people. So I just took and just taped her little face to the string and then just continue to do that. Please excuse the water stain on my shirt. I'm dirty, I was drinking some water before I started this. But I just continued to do that for a while until I filled up the whole entire ribbon with her face. And then I wanted something to put on the tables. So I created this little doohickey. And basically it's just her standing up on some flashcards. I'm gonna put these around the room, on some tables, probably on some of the shelves, but I think it's perfect. So next I had to make the cake. So I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes down to the cake. I just know that I want it to be amazing. I want it to be mind blowing. I want it to be transformative. I want it to be the best cake you've ever seen in your whole entire life. So I don't know, I might do a face, I might do a ring. I might even just put Toulouse on it, we'll see. But did you know that if you do eight drops of blue food coloring and 50 drops of red food coloring, you get a lavender cake. I did not know that. I was completely mind blown. Even though in the picture it might look purple or brown, it's it's lavender, it's lavender. So I definitely greased all my pants because I didn't want to mess this up at all, even though I probably will, but who cares? You know, it's the thought that counts. 